almost in line, followed by Minchai and Kiltiri Pier, and they've gone right away from focus on May, racing outside the furlong point on Dino Usul in between horses, with a fractional advantage over Grayscape on the near side. They're followed by Lovers All Around and Minchai, racing now inside the final 200 yards, and it's on Dino Usul with the advantage from Grayscape. Lovers All Around and running on between horses is Minchai, running up towards the finish, and on Dino Usul will win from Minchai, who ran on well in the closing stages. Grayscape third, Lovers All Around, Kiltiri Pier, and always the back marker, focus on me. Almost in line, followed by Minchai and Kiltiri Pier, and they've gone right away from focus on May, racing outside the furlong point on Dino Usul in between horses, with a fraction and advantage over Grayscape on the near side. They're followed by Lovers All Around and Minchai, racing now inside the final 200 yards, and it's on Dino Usul with the advantage from Grayscape. Lovers All Around and running on between horses is Minchai, running up towards the finish, and on Dino Usul will win from Minchai, who ran on well in the closing stages. Grayscape third, Lovers all around Kiltiri Pier and always the back marker focus on me. And the back marker is my my. They're inside the halfway mark as they begin the run now towards the final furling and a half. Eisenhower on the near side of Well Done Me. Well Done Me has the advantage from Eisenhower. And then comes Austet Near. Ariner is trying to pick up ground behind him with Knoxville Bullet. Eisenhower on the near side coming back now to challenge Well Done Me in the center. Austet Near towards the far side. And as they race now inside the final 150 yards, Eisenhower on the near side is the leader close home and will get off the mark second time. Beats Austin at near well done me third knoxville bullet four clear of Ariner. And the back marker is my my. They're inside the halfway mark as they begin the run now towards the final furling and a half. Eisenhower on the near side of Well Done Me. Well Done Me has the advantage from Eisenhower. And then comes Austet Near. Ariner is trying to pick up ground behind him with Knoxville Bullet. Eisenhower on the near side coming back now to challenge Well Done Me in the center. Austet Near towards the far side. And as they race now inside the final 150 yards, Eisenhower on the near side is the leader close home and will get off the mark second time. Beats Austin at near well done me third Knoxville bullet four clear of Ariner. Racing now just outside the two mark and spaced across the track. Sexy Legs makes ground to just pick it up from Soares and Shiraz in the nose band. Aggression is looking for the split and these are being followed by Prima Uomo as they race on now towards the final 200 yards. And it's Sexy Legs in the center who just picks it up from Olala and then Aggression, Shiraz, Prima Uomo and on the far side Soares, Olala coming back on the near side of Sexy Legs. They're locked together and Olala on the near side and Tom Madden get up to beat Sexy Leg, Shiraz at third and Aggression four, Soares five and Priomomo is last. Racing now just outside the two mark and spaced across the track, Sexy Legs makes ground to just pick it up from Soares and Shiraz in the nose band. Aggression is looking for the split and these are being followed by Prima Uomo as they race on now towards the final 200 yards and it's Sexy Legs in the center who just picks it up from Olala and then Aggression, Shiraz, Prima Uomo and on the far side Soares, Olala coming back on the near side of Sexy Legs. They're locked together and Olala on the near side and Tom Madden get up to beat Sexy Leg, Shiraz at third and Aggression four, Soares five and Priomo Omo is last. Being followed by Best Not Argue and then Step Together and Born Anishka beginning the run now towards the final two and Lahard is joined by Frozen Lake. Father Frost is trying to get on terms on the outside in the purple jacket then Captain Power and Foolish as Frozen Lake is now taken on by Father Frost on the near side then comes Lahard a bit of a break then to Captain Power but it's Frozen Lake with the advantage from Father Frost on the near side. Half a length between them they're going towards the line and Father Frost on the near side times it just right on the inside Frozen Lake and then Lahard Captain Power and Foolish being followed by Best Not Argue, and then Step Together and Born Anishka. 
beginning the run now towards the final two and Lahard is joined by Frozen Lake. Father Frost is trying to get on terms on the outside in the purple jacket then Captain Power and Foolish as Frozen Lake is now taken on by Father Frost on the near side then comes Lahard. A bit of a break then to Captain Power but it's Frozen Lake with the advantage from Father Frost on the near side. Half a length between them they're going towards the line and Father Frost on the near side times it just right on the inside Frozen Lake and then Lahard Captain Power and Foolish. Bobby Bellini just head straight of Zanzibar. Trinity Force being called on for an effort and then High Emperor and Bold Thady Quill and Kings Riker. They have a furling and a half to go and it's Bobby Bellini in the lead from Trinity Force. High Emperor next. Weakening on the inside is straight of Zanzibar but it's Bobby Bellini with a length lead. High Emperor now is packing a punch between horses and has come right through now to head Bobby Bellini and win snugly does High Emperor. And Connor King, Bubbly Bellini, Trinity Force, and Kings Riker, straight of Zanzibar, and Bold Thady Quill. It's Bubbly Bellini, just head straight of Zanzibar. Trinity Force being called on for an effort, and then High Emperor, and Bold Thady Quill, and Kings Riker. They have a furling and a half to go, and it's Bubbly Bellini in the lead from Trinity Force. High Emperor next. Weakening on the inside is straight of Zanzibar, but it's Bubbly Bellini with a length lead. High Emperor now is packing a punch between horses and has come right through now to head Bubbly Bellini and win snugly, does High Emperor. And Connor King, Bubbly Bellini, Trinity Force, and Kings Riker, straight of Zanzibar, and Bold Thady Quill. As they begin the run now towards the final two furlongs, an Aussie guest is still the leader, followed by Prince Jock on the rail, and then comes Hurricane Twister, El Demi, Water Sprite, and Fawn Logue. They've about a furlong and a half to go now, and Aussie guest has kicked on clear, followed by Prince Jock, and then comes Fawn Logue running on on the inside of El Demi, and then Water Sprite, but it's Aussie guest still in the lead under Dennis Lennon, and uh, they've made it all to beat Prince Jock. It's close third, fourth between Water Sprite and El Demi, and Fawn Logue on the inside, fifth. As they begin the run now towards the final two furlongs, an Aussie guest is still the leader, followed by Prince Jock on the rail, and then comes Hurricane Twister, El Demi, Water Sprite, and Fawn Logue. They've about a furlong and a half to go now, and Aussie guest has kicked on clear, followed by Prince Jock, and then comes Fawn Logue running on on the inside of El Demi, and then Water Sprite, but it's Aussie guest still in the lead under Dennis Lennon, and uh, they've made it all to beat Prince Jock. It's close third, fourth between Water Sprite and El Demi, and Fawn Logue on the inside, fifth. As they begin now to race on to the final two and a half, and Castle Lines with one from the rail, the green and yellow colours of Zebek trying to draw level, and then Cradle Mountain. Sidra and the Nose Band is picking up on the outside, and then Siege of Orleans and Ferguson racing now with a furlong and a half to go. And Castle Lines, Castle Lines has opened up here, racing towards the final furlong. Cradle Mountain, Zebek, Sidra, and Siege of Orleans, but it's Castle Lines and Shamey Heffernan out three lengths clear, chased home in second place by Cradle Mountain, but Castle Lines wins. On his debut, makes all second Cradle Mountain, Zebek, Sidra, third and fourth, and Siege of Orleans and Ferguson next. As they begin now to race on to the final two and a half, and Castle Lines with one from the rail, the green and yellow colours of Zebek trying to draw level, and then Cradle Mountain, Sidra and the Nose Band is picking up on the outside, and then Siege of Orleans and Ferguson racing now with a furlong and a half to go, and Castle Lines, Castle Lines has opened up here, racing towards the final furlong, Cradle Mountain, Zebek, Sidra, and Siege of Orleans, but it's Castle Lines and Shamey Heffernan out three lengths clear, chased home in second place by Cradle Mountain, but Castle Lines with Wins on his debut, makes all. Second Cradle Mountain, Zebek, Sidra, third and fourth, and Siege of Orleans, and Ferguson next.